The 29-0 Spartans taking on last year's state runners-up Westerville South. First quarter, Ohio's Mr. Basketball dishes to Jarius Ward. The junior's three opens up the scoring. On the other end, Ennis Thompson drains a three for the Wildcats. Later, Jordan Humphrey in transition, able to finish with the reverse. It's part of a 12-0 Westerville run. Belima responds. Jalen Thomas nails the three, making it 14-8 Wildcats. Then Simpson attacks the rim, scores with the finger roll. Spartans trail 19-12 after one. In the second quarter, Lima is down 12. Ruben Flowers starts to come back. He lays it in and hits the deck hard. A very fast pace to this game. Jar Ward penetrates, draws the contact, and banks it in, cutting the deficit to seven. Next time down the floor, X has an open look from behind the arc. A 6-0 Spartan run, and it's 27-23 Westerville South. With one minute to go in the second quarter, Rico Stafford, the steal and the slam. Lima Senior is within three. Final seconds of the first half. Loose ball, it bounces right to Flowers. He turns and lays it in at the buzzer. Wildcats lead it 31-28 at the break. Spartans looking to carry that momentum into the third quarter. X dishes to a cutting Flowers, one of seven assists for Simpson. A minute later, a very similar play. X to Thomas this time for the easy two. Seven points for Jalen in the game. Later, Simpson with it again, showing off the shooting skills. 42-39, Wildcats still in front. Whenever Lima Senior had a big bucket, Westerville had an answer. Here's Anthony Mills connecting from deep. But the Spartans stayed tough. Ward can't get it to go. Flowers is there for the putback. 12 points and five boards for the future Pitt Panther wide receiver. 45-43 Wildcats after three. So it all comes down to the fourth quarter. A huge and one for Jordan Humphrey. He finishes with a game high 19. Spartans answer with strong defense and it leads to a transition break. Marquavius Wilson to Stafford. The lay-in makes it a one-point game. But again, back comes Westerville with a big basket. Dalen Haney somehow gets the hoop and the harm. 50-47 Lima trail. Simpson drives, misses the lay-in, but Stafford with the putback. 10 points for Rico. 30 seconds left in the game. Wildcats by two. Simpson a beautiful dish to Stafford. Lima Senior ties it up at 55. Westerville South has a chance to win it here. Humphrey the hop step. He floats it up and in. Wildcats lead 57-55 with 1.8 seconds remaining. Last chance for Lima Senior. Stafford inbounds to X from half court for the win. It's no good and Westerville South wins the D1 state title in dramatic fashion. Lima Senior's spectacular season comes to an end as the state runners up. Coming down to the last play, you know, uh, guy made a tough shot. Anytime you can make a guy turn and shoot a jump shot, you know, we'll live with that. He made a tough shot. You know, good offense usually beats good defense and that's kind of how it ended. You playing a good team, you get caught up in uh, coming from behind, playing against a quality team with some studs over there and a very well coached team. You know, we gave it all we got. You know, I have nothing to be uh, upset about, disappointed about. I thought all my guys laid it on the line. You know, cat and mouse game, you know, up and down game. You know, these you got to tip your hat to these guys. The kid made a tremendous shot. We had an opportunity, 1.8 seconds left. I didn't think Xavier caught the ball where he wanted it. I wanted him to catch it on the run. And when he caught it, he kind of had to change directions, and that, that killed his momentum going forward. It happens. Yeah, it's going to hurt. You know, you lose a uh, state championship game, you know, it's going to hurt me. It's going to hurt these kids. You know, they fought through a lot. Coming from a town like Lima, where you, you hear a lot of negative things that go on, you know, we wanted to do it for our city. We wanted to put some positive enlightenment for our city. And I think we did that. You know, uh, this is going to be our goal next year. We got some younger guys coming back that can play. I uh, hope they get a taste of this because uh, this ball is not going to stop bouncing. So it's going to be moved on to some other kids and we'll be ready. Uh, the way that we play, we're going to have turnovers. Uh, but but you know, when you have eight turnovers and I think they had 14 points off our turnovers in the first half, that hurts. Um, but I still thought, you know, we erased the first half and put ourselves in position to close the game out. And uh, we came up short. After giving everything he had in the state final, a heartbroken Xavier Simpson addressed the media to try and put this special season in perspective. We just kept fighting defense. I mean, it's good, but it's obviously not enough. Yeah, he's fearless. You know, he, this hurts. You know, he wanted to be in a situation where he could be a, a state champion in two different divisions. You know, but, you know, X has only got, I think, 11 total losses in his whole high school career. Uh, couldn't ask him much more. You know, Michigan is going to get a good one. You know, it's going to be a great moment for me. Now I can sit in the stands like a father and enjoy the moment. 
You know, so, but right now, you know, I got to make sure these kids' minds are right. They're hurt. Uh, they're down. You know, but we're going to embrace it. You know, we did some things that most people didn't think we could. And I tip my hat to my players. They worked hard every day in practice for us. You know, those guys fight to the end. They've been fighting with me since they've been in fourth grade. You know, and uh, that's the thing that hurts most for those guys because they wanted to do it because they've been together for so long before, you know, Lima Senior. Uh, it didn't happen for us. You know, uh, these guys are going to go to college for free. Uh, these guys are going to move on and do some tremendous things with themselves. They're going to have a great future, a bright, successful career in their lives, and that's what's bigger than basketball.